There are several generations of TDI engines from Volkswagen and Audi. The older TDI engines with an external injection pump and mechanical injectors are in the VE class of TDI engines. The engine control module can adjust the pump, advancing or retarding the injection timing. When you set the start of injection, you are making sure the pump is mechanically set to a middle position so the engine control module has full advance or retard adjustment of the timing as needed. If the start of injection is not set correctly, then there can be no start issues, extended cranking on cold start, reduction of fuel economy, poor engine performance, or excessive smoke while running. With the engine up to operating temperature and at idle, connect to the engine control module. Go into basic settings and leave the group number on 000 and click on the go button. Note the engine may sound different when you do this. A TDI timing button will appear in the lower right corner. Click on this button. The TDI graph application will now open up. You will need to select the correct engine from the list in the lower right corner. Different engines have different specifications, so locate the correct listing for a 2002 Jetta with a 1.9 ALH engine. Note that the ALH engine is grouped with other engine codes, and the date of manufacturing does matter. With the correct engine listed selected, the scale on the screen will change. There should be two yellow lines. The vertical line represents the fuel temperature. The horizontal line represents the timing of the pump. These lines should intersect between the green and red lines. The green line represents the maximum timing allowed and the red line represents the minimum timing allowed. The blue line is the middle value. If you check the cloud function, TD Guy Graph will show the last 100 samples. In this example, we are within factory specifications, but just barely. Let's make some adjustments. Close out a TDI graph, out of basic settings, then close controller. Now shut off the engine. Loosen the 13 mm bolts on the injection pump sprocket, and then with a 22 mm wrench, you can turn the input shaft of the injection pump. Pulling the wrench towards the front of the car advances the timing. Pushing the wrench towards the back retards the timing. I will try to find a middle setting here and then secure the 13 mm bolts. Again with the engine at idle, we connect to the engine control module. Go back into basic settings group 000 and open up the TDI graph. There are no yellow lines showing up. This means the start of injection is too far retarded. You can just make out a yellow dot along the bottom of the chart. So the start of injection needs to be advanced. Close out a TDI graph and basic settings, then close controller and shut off the engine. With the 13 mm bolts loose, the 22 mm wrench is used to advance the start of injection and then the 13 mm bolts are torqued down. With the engine at idle, we go back into the engine control module, basic settings group 000, and open the TDI graph. Now we see there is only a single vertical yellow line. This means the start of injection is too far advanced and needs to be retarded. Close out a TDI graph and basic settings, then close controller and shut off the engine. We will now try to fine tune the start of injection. As before, with the 13 mm bolts loosened, here is the adjustment being made. Then the 13 mm bolts are torqued back down. Start the engine and let it idle. Connect to the engine control module, basic settings group 000, TDI graph. Our readings show that the start of injection is still too far advanced so another adjustment is required. And here's the adjustment being made. Did you see that? The amount of adjustment barely shows up on camera. With the 13 mm bolts torqued back down, the engine is started and at idle. We go back into the engine control module, basic settings group 000, and TDI graph.
Now we see our yellow lines intersect within the factory specifications and no further adjustment is required.